In this video, we're going to examine how to evaluate a polynomial for a specific value using function notation. So we're told here p of x equals 3x cubed minus 2x minus 9, and we want to find p of 4 and p of negative 3. And this is written in our function notation. Now our function notation is just a fancy way of evaluating a polynomial. What you do is you're taking your 4 and you're going to be plugging it in for your x in the polynomial. So if I want to do p of 4, what that means is replace your x value in the polynomial with 4 and then perform out of order of operations to evaluate it. So you have 3 times, instead of x cubed, I'm going to put 4 cubed. Minus 2 times x, instead of x, I'm going to put 4. So minus 2 times 4, minus 9. So now, when we ignore this left side of the equation. Nothing is happening over here. This is just telling me I'm evaluating the function p at x equals 4. So we just work on this right side doing order of operations. So first, I have 3 times 4 cubed. Exponents come first. 4 cubed is 64. So 3 times 64 minus 2 times 4, so minus 8, minus 9. And so we have 3 times 64. We have 192, minus 8, and minus 9 which gives us 175. And so that is the value of p of 4. If I want to do p of negative 3, it's the same idea. I'm going to plug negative 3 in for x in my polynomial. So p of negative 3 means you place your x variable with negative 3. So 3 times x cubed becomes 3 times negative 3 cubed minus 2 times x, 2 times negative 3, minus 9. And then we just focus on this right side and evaluate the expression. So negative 3 cubed is negative 27. So I have 3 times negative 27. Negative 2 times negative 3 is a positive 6, minus 9. 3 times negative 27 is negative 81. So you have negative 81 plus 6 minus 9, which is going to be negative 84. So that's function notation. Evaluating a polynomial is the p of x equals your polynomial. When you're trying to evaluate it for a specific number, you just take that number and plug it in for x. So same idea, p of 4 first. And that's just telling you you're going to replace the x variable with 4. So I have 4 squared minus 3 times 4 plus 2. 4 squared is 16 minus 3 times 4 minus 12 plus 2. 16 minus 12 is 4 plus 2 is 6. And so now I know the value of the function at p of 4. And I do the same thing for p of negative 3. I take negative 3 and plug it in for my x. Now, when you're plugging in a negative with an exponent, you want to make sure you put it inside of a parenthesis. So negative 3 squared minus 3 times negative 3 plus 2. So negative 3 squared is a positive 9. Negative 3 times negative 3 is a positive 9. And then plus 2. So 9 plus 9 is 18, plus 2 is 20. So in these two examples, these four evaluating a polynomial using function notation problems, we're dealing with numerical values we're plugging in. Find p of 4, find p of negative 3, given your p function. We can also use function notation to evaluate a polynomial for a variable expression. f of 3c minus 4, find that value given f of x equals 5x squared plus 1. This just means take this expression, f of 3c minus 4. This 3c minus 4 is what you plug in for x. 
the whole expression. So if I want to find f of 3c minus 4 given f of x equals 5x squared plus 1, I am going to replace the x with this expression of 3c minus 4. And then simplify. Now remember to square a binomial means you're actually multiplying it by itself. So you have 3c minus 4 times 3c minus 4. And then you're just distributing. 3c times 3c is 9c squared. 3c times negative 4 is negative 12c. Negative 4 and 3c is negative 12c. Negative 4 and negative 4 is positive 16. So I get 9c squared minus 24c plus 16. That's just from squaring the binomial. I still have the 5 on the outside and then the plus 1. Now I'm going to distribute and get 45c squared minus 120c plus 80 plus 1. Combine your like terms and you get 45c squared minus 120c plus 81. So you can evaluate a polynomial for a variable expression. Just plug it in. Make sure you put in parentheses. Do your order of operations. We're going to do the exponents first. So we distribute, get our trinomial. Then we're going to multiply by 5 and then combine or add 1. It's the same idea for number 4. f of x equals 3x minus 8. Find f of 3c minus 4. We want to take the 3c minus 4 and plug it in for our x. So we have 3 times x. So I'm going to put in times 3c minus 4 minus 8. And then just distribute and combine like terms. You get 9c minus 12 minus 8. The negative 12 and negative 8 give you negative 20. And so you get 9c minus 20. So we have worked with function notation before in previous lessons. Now we're just applying it to polynomials. And we follow the same process of distribute, plug in, distribute, combine like terms, and simplify our answer.